Um, we're gonna do today. Spencer's gonna continue show with opening stuff. That's my phone going off, and sh um, we're gonna go over some Fisher games um, with the Nimzo Larson attack. And we discovered you can talk about it for a second. Let me check my. Oh phone. yeah, it's also sometimes <laughs> referred to as the Larson's mm -hmm. opening. So maybe you know it by that name. Yeah. But yeah, it's basically when white plays b3. Nimzovich would play knight f3 first, and then b3 on move two. That's how he did it. Mm. Larson would just go straight b3. Straight in. But I think that uh, Nimzovich didn't like one e5 as a response, so knight f3 prevents that on move one from black. Mm, I see. Interesting. I've played both ways. I've played b3 quite a lot in my career. I played it against you on uh, on stream once. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was when I was secretly playing against you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. Yeah, I remember that. I did. And I was trying. I knew that I, I felt like I should know that that was you somehow. <laughs> but I was <laughs> like, who is this? <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can tell if we have any viewers yet. I don't think we do. Just rambling to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> anybody out there? Is there anybody <laughs> out there? <laughs> I was also thinking about Ramble On. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, two songs. What all did you sing last night? Hey, Bishop Takes. I sang... Um, hey, Bishop. I sang uh, No Surprises. Mm -hmm. And Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Um, no Excuses. Wow. Yeah. I like a lot of no's. And Dancing Days. All right. Oh, you sang Dancing Days. I even sang Lithium. I sang five songs. Oh, you sang Lithium? Oh, yeah, I've sang Lithium before. I want to sing another um, Led Zepp. I'm not sure. I've only sang Going to California. So. Hey, Frap, and trying not to learn. Hey, Frap. Oh, Frap wants to be a mod. I don't know if we can trust him. <laughs> hey, trying not to learn. One, two, three. All the hits. Yes, all my, uh, all my standbys there. <laughs> Yeah, we've been so I'm so disappointed. I know we already complained about this on the stream, but that karaoke was outside, so it was the one thing I felt like I could do. And then, yo, you're a Kurt fan. Kurt was great. Mm -hmm. I sang. Um, they took it back inside. Hey, Snake Oil Scrub, and um, but I yeah, I sang about a girl. I sang Lithium. Seems like I sang another one. I can't remember. Um, hmm. but, you know, Frap, I don't know about modding you, but, um, because I think you might be a young person, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust those young people. So, you know, I don't mod up teenagers. Oh, John Denver. <laughs> Just ban that guy. <laughs> when you're talking about Kurt Cobain, what do you think we... Country like, road, John Denver? <laughs> take me home. Do you like that song? To the no. place. <laughs> not, not particularly. Um, hang on a second. Uh, I like John Denver. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I just would say he's pretty mediocre. What about a leaving on a jet plane? You like that song? Hey, that didn't work. Hmm. I tried to mod you trying not to learn. Maybe I didn't type it right. Thanks for subscribing, Output. Oh, yeah. Sorry I didn't notice that. Hey, Output, thank you. Oh, you have no time. Thank you so much for dropping in to subscribe. Love you, Output. Former Alabamian. <laughs> <laughs> VIP on Ben's stream and my stream. <laughs> oh, Linder, Oh, it did work. With a donation. Oh, yay. Hey, nine, Linder. Nine, nine. Thank you. <laughs> yay. Hey, Kappa. Um, Grandmaster Cool, hey, how's it going? I owe you a game. Do you recommend the book My 60 Memorable Games? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I've, I've read that book. I read the original publication and the more recent one as well. I have the more recent one at home. Mm. Hey, Cameron. So Output says, my dad is a huge John Denver fan. Yeah. Oh, even named one. <laughs> so, yeah, I like, I love Annie's song. Um, I do like John Denver, but I like a pretty big variety of music. It's 60 memorable games, Linder, not 50. <laughs> Close. But no cigar. <laughs> hey, Christopher James. Oof. 
<laughs> so that did work when I modded. Yeah, where did you go, Frap? You know, I'm not... Um, I think you're young. I remember you might be too young to be a mod. Okay, that's my only issue. But um, we can talk further offline about it. So I guess I have one... Challenge. Challenge. From GM. Maybe cool. I'll play the uh, Grandmaster just by myself first. It's a three-minute rated game, so oh, we sorry. couldn't do hand and brain anyway. Oh, and it's rated. Um, my 60 memorable <laughs> draws is pretty good, too. Oh, by Picasso? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had like five or six songs all loaded up for the other night. I remember mm -hmm. you were telling me about yeah. it. Yeah, new songs, too. I've been trying to um, practice this Aretha Franklin song. Hey, PPRTS1, but I just can't quite get it. Um, but maybe by the time I go again, I'll have it. All right, I'm going to play a game and then, or two. Hey, Chessy Chess, or Cheesy Chess. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I can't tell how many people we have. When did the book come out? I'm gonna do like a My 60 fish. memorable games. Oh. It's, uh, you know, an, an old game. I mean, an old book. I missed whoever said hello from Brazil, but I can look at this there, other oh, window. Yeah. Hey, Gibbs10. <laughs> you can challenge Karen, but she'll yeah, have you to accept your friend request first. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why. You know, it did turn out I had some limitations on yeah. who I would play games with, and I took that off. Okay, okay, so maybe you don't. But even still, my dad said that sometimes it messes up. Yeah, on his. You still have to be a friend. That's true. Let me look. I don't see any f yeah. friend requests except for that right there. Do you see right there? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So, but um, 10 now. I don't play 10 minute. Yeah, that's too slow trying not to learn. <laughs> but if you want to redo for a five, then you're in. Go, Karen. Oh, it's GM Benjamin Feingold. Hey, GM Benjamin Feingold. Oh, now you can play like a Cobian. I mean, a Copian. In the uh, the thumbnail to the Acopian stream, yeah, I put a picture of a Cobian, oh. and then I put like a circle with a uh. line through it. <laughs> Not a Cobian. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm sure that gets confused a lot. Have fun at work, Linder, if that's possible. Bye, Linder. Thank you for the sub. Or was it a donation? It was a donation. Donation. Yeah, that's right. Nine ninety nine. 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 <laughs> is is follow request enough to challenge? Hmm. Hmm. Well, why don't you uh you gotta friend her on chess.com oh you, maybe you don't have to do that but that would help and then just challenge her on chess.com that's all you need to do mm -hmm. how's it going past pawn nine 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 <laughs> my dad would love to say that one. Oh, and uh i would say hi to vermis but he only said hi to you and my dad not me <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's implied. That's potentially true. Potentially. Mm. Oh, Hangs Maiden One's here? Yay. Hey there, Hangs Maiden One. All right, let me. I'm struggling here to get any kind of advantage at all. Well, you're black, you know. That Queen's Gambit declined. <laughs> <laughs> so. Kind of tough to get an advantage. True. CL Smith is streaming Go. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, Go is uh, kind of boring. But you know who is a big fan of Go was uh, Emmanuel Lasker. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said if aliens play a board game, it would be Go. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> kind of a random thing to say, but sure. I'd rather watch Botas play Fall Guys. <laughs> then go? I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
How's it going, GGO, if that's how you pronounce the name? I just started playing the Larson attack. It's super fun. Yeah, I like to play it as well. Hey, Mar Mariotti, D-A-E. <laughs> Is Fall Guys some new craze? Yeah, I would say that. I've uh, never played it myself, but I don't really play the the fad fad video games. Mm -hmm. You know, like Fortnite. Yeah, it's, it does seem to be a pretty big fad right now. Yeah, I have like, no time. That's true. This usual. is a three minute game, is why. Yeah. Just because it's a fad doesn't mean it's not fun. I didn't say it wasn't fun. I just said I usually don't play the fad games. Mm-hmm. Oh, trying not to learn, gifting a tier one sub. Yay. Nice. Thank you, trying not to learn. Um. And just running down a track for the most part. Until you fall, is that the point of the game? It's like a platformer, kind of, I thought. I, I didn't really see any of it. I just, from like the, you know, like the picture of when you see a Fall Guys thing, it like will just show you the picture of it. it. Kind of seems like a platformer. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Running down the track. Something, something else. Dang, your position got a little better, but. Uh, yeah, time's old. And then you didn't take my rope either. <laughs> All right, well, good game, Grandmaster Cool. Time got me again. And I was hanging my pieces there at the end. That's you, true. You didn't take them, <laughs> but she still won. Um, he definitely played faster. Yeah. He had a lot of time at the Yeah, yeah. I'm just so damn slow. Hey, BG Yoshi. Time gets us all in the end. That's true. <laughs> Spencer, can you analyze? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a good idea. I always forget that. Hey, Fortuna. Our dentist, Fortuna Juvat. <laughs> oh, Fortuna. You came from the hospital. What? Hey, DJ in Bay. It's funny because I forgot your old name now. <laughs> you, I know you It's said, obviously Jin. <laughs> DJ I N N is Jin. DJ Jin. 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 Yeah, like a, uh, you know, like a Jin in a, like a in a fantasy, you know, setting. There'd be a Jin. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, like a Jin's curse. Oh yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, Dijin, Dijin Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, like a genie, exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm not familiar with What happened, Jin? I'm going to call you Jin. What was it? Remind me your old name. Not that it matters anymore. You used to have a different name on Twitch. And then he changed it. And I can't remember anything. But, um, oh, that's right. I, I could never pronounce your old name. Hutsukage. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, did you really almost die, or are you exaggerating? Yeah, I want to know. I'm, I'm, I'm All right. my seat here. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll start analyzing. But, All right. But we can monitor the chat for the answer. Well, I'm glad you didn't die, if you really were going to die. <laughs> so I'd probably play bishop d6, or maybe even bishop b4 check. Bishop e7 seems a, like a little passive. I kind of mm -hmm. like the position white got. It was like an exchange. Queen's gambit declined, but he already has bishop f4. Mm -hmm. It seems pretty good. Well, you should go here. Obviously, frankly. Mm -hmm. Like that. This all looks good. It looks fine. Yeah, I don't know why you went here and then back. What should I have done? Uh, well, this move's okay. 
You could also play bishop d6. You could go here and then play like knight f8 to get your knight over here. Mm -hmm. And then you've given yourself the f6 square for your bishop. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. want to play knight d7 to do that, that's maybe what I would do. I kind of think I'd play bishop d6 here. I thought about doing that. You this can also just true. move this white square bishop. Mm -hmm. Why not just get him developed? He hasn't moved yet. Yeah. Right, so here you should like do nothing. That's how you play this position. You're, okay. Every time it's an exchange, queen's gambit decline, you're always pushing all these pawns. I do. And you have a lot of weaknesses. So I shouldn't <laughs> do that? No, yeah, no way. What you, am I supposed to do? Well, I mean, bishop f5 is good, bishop d6 is good. Just hang out and wait on them to mess yeah, up? Yeah, you, <laughs> you can play g6. A lot of times you want to arrange knight e4. So you could play bishop f5, bishop d6, knight e4. Okay. And then you could like move your queen, and you can also lift your rook. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you should make luft and stuff. Okay, so just leave the pawns over there. Yeah, I do. I know I create weaknesses. Um, wait, I missed. Okay, we have some. Some are talking about balls and groins. What? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, you had an abscess. Abscess. Dang, that's infection. tough. Infection. In the groin area, they drew it, cut it. That sounds horrid. Sounds yeah. like that hurt. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now Pietro says, doesn't Bishop E6 trade the good bishop for the bad one? He meant Bishop D6. But yeah, I mean, that's true, but both bishops are kind of okay here. It doesn't matter too much. And this bishop's pretty good. So, you know, if, you can't really say that's the the bad bishop just because these pawns are in dark squares, which is pretty good. Okay, yeah. I was wondering about that, too. That was my only hesitation mm -hmm. about trading because I was think, thinking I didn't want it. I mean, this bishop's more active than this that's one. That's true. And usually right it's, it's not, but it was. If it was like an end game, I might agree with you. Like you take off all the other minor pieces mm -hmm. and the queens and rooks and such. I might agree with you then. Yeah, this bishop's just really good right now on g3. Mm -hmm. But you, you don't have to play that way. But I'd like to play with knight e4 because, you know, and bishop d6 opens up the rook to support that. That's why that's a pretty good plan. But yeah, queen's gambit declines like a really solid opening for black. You just have like good squares for your pieces. But as far as like a dynamic pawn break, this is generally hard to come by. Okay. Generally, it's pretty tough. All right, to come I'm going to stop doing what I do. <laughs> I believe it. In fact, if anything, white should be doing this to try to like give you a weakness here. Right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that next time. You watch me. All right. Um, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived, Jen. Can I call you just Jen? It's much easier than Dijen. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Karen, Karen, put it, put it in A. In a. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> hey kangaroo how's it going i'm glad you showed up i need to talk to you and also i didn't even remember that you were my jen man that's from a long time ago from when i was streaming the first time <laughs> um but um the, so the botez i don't know if you're there topless botez guy but um I had previously said that it was fine, you know, that you said Botez, Topless, et cetera, and you've got like 20 different accounts. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, one of her mods reached out to me, and she does feel harassed by those names. I personally did think it was kind of funny. Ben wa Ben's instinct was to ban you, but, you know, Ben likes to ban everybody. But, yes. <laughs> so mods, you know, if Botez, Topless, et cetera, shows up, can you whisper to him nicely and tell him, you know, love you, Botez, Topless, but you got to rename your name to be your ID, handle, whatever the hell it's called. You got to right. get a different name to be here, and then you can go ahead and ban them. But I'd like you to, you know, give him the courtesy of explaining why he got banned. Because I did previously tell him it was fine, but um, he's got like 20 different accounts. Hmm. Also, the same rule goes on ben, uh, ben. Ben's stream. Um, all the Botez topless <laughs> handles 
have to be rooted out. And I told him that before, that if she, if I found out that she felt harassed by it, then he would be history. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad about it. Yeah, Mom Karen's. <laughs> I feel bad about it because I think he might have a sub here. But um, and I have nothing against him personally, but if somebody tells me they feel harassed, I have to respect that. So it's really more about respecting someone else. I mm -hmm. personally, you know, if there's Karen Topless, I mean, come on. You know, <laughs> that's silly, but I wouldn't mind. But on the other hand, I wouldn't want to see a hundred top Karen top <laughs> Karen <laughs> topless handles. Right. So maybe that's why she doesn't like it. Yeah, just talk to him real quick and then ban him. Spencer <laughs> topless. All I don't right. think anybody would want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt our analysis. So here. trading those bishops was good. Um, C five, yeah, I guess. I'd probably take with the pawn because I don't want his knight to go there. Okay. But I don't know. Maybe it's okay to play bishop takes. These all—all all these moves seem pretty smart. Yeah, you know, I was looking at trying to make this sacrifice work, but it doesn't quite work, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Looks good, but I think you just lose a piece for two pawns. So that's too bad. Mm, okay. Poked you there. This move's a little risky. I know. <laughs> I looked at it, though. I didn't yeah, really I guess there's no... Uh, I didn't feel like there was anything that yeah, could be done. It seemed like this was fine. Okay. This all seems pretty okay. Oh, interesting move. And he ignored it. So I guess you were going to go here if he took it? Or are you going to take this pawn or something? I don't know. Um, also, I mean, your pawn's hanging, so maybe you should uh, defend it. Yeah. Yeah, my intent was to take the A pawn. I don't remember now what I ended, I ended up doing something different. All right, still you'd lose this pawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would uh, lose a pawn. Yeah, but you'd lose two pawns. One, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. This looks like you got counterplay, though. Like, yeah, you could take this with check. Mm -hmm. You went here hanging the rook, right? You already didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> and he didn't see it. No, and then I hung it again. And it's some, right, well, right. yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, I mean, it seemed like a pretty solid game. You know, not too much to criticize other than the time management. Yeah. Trying not to learn says, why doesn't it work? Because he can take your rook before accepting the other rook? No, it's just the knight protects c1. I assume he means the sacrifice. The knight protects c1, so it, it uh, it'll lose a piece. Ah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, he just moves it, and you take this. So now you lost. A, he's got an extra bishop for two pawns. If the knight wasn't there, then it would be crushing because you could just play rook takes mm -hmm. and, you know, win back the rook. But the knight's here, so you have to have to lose a piece. Yeah, yeah so. I didn't see the knight either until we were looking at just now. Well, luckily you didn't consider the sacrifice <laughs> another. You play it. <laughs> no, I did look at it. I oh. considered it briefly, but, um, you know, I didn't. If I don't feel confident in my calculation, then I move move it along. Yeah, in a three-minute game, it's mostly you're playing on intuition. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Good game. Um, yeah, good game, Malcolm. Going to let the rook commit some crumbs before you hang him. <laughs> Men must be nice to see an NM and have magic. Oh, to be an NM and have magic knights just appear on the board. It is helpful. <laughs> Hey, MG Weirdo. Um, well, let's see what our time is. I wonder if I should play another one. 5.30? Mm-hmm. Probably good. Maybe good, yeah. Maybe. Why not trying not to learn? Mm-hmm. I think we could do that. One yeah. more game. Should we do a hand and brain? or? We can. Uh, it's five minute. Um. But I don't know. It seemed like you were just playing before. Maybe you can just keep it going. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Then I can All read right. the chat. <laughs> that's true. Although you can play and read the chat because you're fast. 
That's kind of true. I still blunder more than though. Yeah, I think most people do. Um, okay, we're going to play one more game, then we're going to start the lesson. You like hand and brain, Kappa? Well, I'm going in order, Cameron. Otherwise, I would play you, but um, after the stream, I can, or at the end of the stream, I can play you. Yeah. Just leave your um, challenge active if possible. All right, and then, sh then you'll be at the top of the list. Yeah, because you'll, you're next after trying not to learn. It's true. I can see the list. <laughs> She's not lying. My hair is like getting crazy in the top. All right, let's see if I can go faster. I believe that you can do it. It has been done. It's all been done. Mm -hmm. Spencer, get braids. What? Jin told me to get braids for my hair. I could do that. Braids. Have you ever had um, any sort of extensions? I've never anything? done anything other than color my hair. Mm. I barely even ever get a cut. <laughs> yeah. Really. But I've colored it quite a bit. It looks like I don't even need a pillow. That's true. Who needs a pillow? What about when people who say pillow, they say pello? You know, like pe mm, pello. Some um, people say pello. Not even aware of that pronunciation. Yeah. I always say pillow, like a pill, because that's how it's spelled. Hey, I, well, that's news. What's this toilet break? Magnus joining Cloud9 and Fnatic esports teams. I don't know anything about it. I any haven't of that. heard about that. I heard about um, Hikaru joining an esports team. Maybe that's what he means. But he it got was it confused. No, it was maybe he's right. <laughs> it's a different name. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. But sounds cool. Yeah, a lot of people say Pello Southern Chris. It's true. Hikaru joined TSM. Yeah, I heard about that. I think a TSM does have some uh, Smash players, like has a, has a Smash team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, almost 100% sure. But it might be like a different, you know, acronym. I'm getting confused. She, you joined CLG. Yeah, uh, Karen was telling me about that. Yeah, I did hear about that. TSM has a lot of different sports. I believe it. Hmm, so Magnus got on one, too. There's some Twitter banter with Cloud9 and Magnus. Yeah, Magnus is known for the Twitter banter. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, sometimes he has some really good Twitter, uh, Twitter-isms. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one coming. You're now, now people in the chat can't put two bishops after this. This is their last chance. <laughs> Karen is down on time. That's true. Uh, yeah, I need to go faster. <laughs> but she can make up 30 seconds as long as she stops reading the chat. <laughs> well, I was interested in the esports thing. I had not even heard it, but I haven't really been on Twitter today. So I had not heard I'm it. I'm never on Twitter. Well, I read Trump's um. Twitter, but that's it. It's just so funny. <laughs> you have to read it. God, I was so mad about... Um, do you know who Ann Coulter is? Of course. God, I mean, I'm trying to think. I know of, all the craziest I just wanted, <laughs> I just wanted to say, like, you know, ugliest things about her that I could say and it would be so inappropriate on stream. But. Ann Coulter said that uh, America should, this is like many years ago, that Americans should go into, uh, like, African villages and kill all their leaders and then convert them to Christianity so they could be saved. Really? Yeah. Her latest thing, 
Um, darn, I want to go get mated. Yeah, her latest thing was she said that the guy, the 17-year-old, that killed... I remember he, he drove across state lines with a gun to kill people. Oh, shit. He, he drove across state lines with a gun to kill people in self-defense. And she said she <laughs> wanted that person to be president. Dang. Mm -hmm. Well, he does hate black people, and so does she, so I guess Darn. that makes sense. I'm going to lose the game now. This isn't good at all. Um, yeah, she said she wanted, um, that person to be president. Mm -hmm. I mean, who says stuff like that? Well, she has to say crazy stuff, otherwise who would pay her? They don't pay people for normal stuff. Anybody can think that. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. How's it going, Pet Serious? I'm having a great day. Po Poshi. I remember this uh, episode of Boondocks where Ann Coulter, it's just like, she's just pretending to be, like, be crazy for like media attention. Mm -hmm. And so she like has a racket with this dude who's played by a CeeLo Green. Oh, and, that uh, was a mouse though. <laughs> it was. Oh, it hardly matters. I know, <laughs> but it's so annoying. I'm sorry, now what about CeeLo? He, uh, he's like, he, he'll always go on TV with Ann Coulter and they'll argue. Like she'll say like a bunch of racist stuff, and then he'll like be offended by it. Yeah. But it's just a racket. Like she, like they're in on it together, and they're friends, you know. And and that's that's the point of that episode. Pretty funny. Yeah, this is not good. I should just resign. But, um, this would be a good time to practice some pre moving, though. Might as well. There you I go. Mean... Maybe you'll win now. <laughs> All this happens. Uh, yeah. How come you're not pre moving anymore? Well, because. Because I knew he was going to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. There you go. Now you're pre-moving. Well, he's got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just practicing pre-moving, that's all. All right, I'm going to resign. All right, good game. Try not to learn. Yeah, I was distracted. Okay, I got to real quick. So I got to – did anybody see that Ann Coulter stuff? Good, good game here, and then we're going to analyze it in a second. Bill Maher is friends with Ann Coulter. Let's see. I would pay her. Pay her to be quiet. Uh, but you wouldn't know you'd pay her to be quiet if she didn't say a lot of crazy stuff first. <laughs> so she's getting you. Which team has been going to join? Well, you know, he hasn't been asked to join one. So I don't know about that. Hey, Poshi. Um, I'll probably get a state senate seat. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, I just don't even know what to think about Ann Coulter. So I guess I just won't talk about her because I just want to call her, you know, ugly names. But let's analyze the game. <laughs> so we talked about how if they play D6, they're threatening Knight H5, so you should play H3 after that. Mm -hmm. But he never played it. So I'd play H3 here. Okay. Yeah, you could always play H three castles first, then decide what to do with your C pawn mm -hmm, last true. if they if they do a King's Indian mm -hmm. setup. Not that C four is terrible. But now I'd like I'd like to play C five. Right. Drink order. Okay, thanks, sweetie. 
So then he plays uh, bishop g4. That's interesting. But he did give up two bishops. I don't think the permit command works unless it got fixed. <laughs> it's kind of weird to go here and take, like, and then do nothing. I thought you would do that to play e5, but then you didn't play e5. So white should be better here. Because now if you play e5, which you did, he uh, you could take it. Although that's complicated, because then you could try to win the pawn, mm -hmm. removing the defender. Oh, yeah. But they could take here trying to counterattack. This attacks the knight, so if they want to win back the pawn, they have to do this. And now your bishop and pawn are hanging. So you could take this. If you take here, knight takes defends the pawn, so that wouldn't make sense, really. So I would try this, but then it seems like they can get away with taking this. They can't trade queens first because then knight takes defends the pawn twice. So if they want to win the pawn, they'd have to do it now. But you do have some tricks here. But I don't know if they work. Yeah, they do. Just go here. Like this. Now if pawn takes, you win the rook. If knight takes, you take here. Now you've lost two pieces for a rook, however. However. This is hanging, and this is hanging. So let's go, I was gonna go here, but no, you can't get forked, because then this is hanging. So, okay, let's just go like this. Now you're down two pieces for a rook, but they have two pieces hanging. So this should win material for you. Again, you don't have to worry about the fork, because it's pinned. Right, yeah. So this long variation is working for you, which means you probably win a pawn if you play bishop takes c6. But let's check with the engine, because that was a lot of tactics, and they could have all been wrong, you know? <laughs> Let's see, it likes bishop c6 and de, but I thought if d takes, knight takes was fine. It just goes back and says white's winning. It just likes your position because it's two bishops, what else? But I want to win a pawn. Yeah, b takes. This does win a pawn, it's plus one. Yeah, it's even a, a higher evaluation. Yeah, then it suggests queen takes. It even just takes with the rook because there the same tactic applies, so it doesn't feel the need to play knight takes. Is it knight d5? Yeah, knight d5 and bishop f6 also wins. Mm -hmm. I thought that wouldn't win because you could do this, though. Oh, but knight takes is obviously winning. Yeah, same idea. So yeah, you had a lot of winning tactics there, actually. Darn, I shouldn't have been talking so much. <laughs> takes here knife f5 now uh, i didn't really love you to play d5 seems a little anti-positional because it blocks your bishop and it weakens the dark squares a lot oh yeah like this bishop's really good hey jiganaut i was worried about no, your pawn's weak yeah it's weak it yeah. is yeah it is because if they move the knight on f6 and All right well that's why the computer here wants to just take not yeah. even win the pawn and go back because this position you have two bishops. I for should nothing. have taken. I don't know why I didn't take, and then I regretted it later. Well, I... sometimes you don't want to take. Sometimes you do. Yeah. If your d pawn's going to be weak, that might be a reason to take. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a weak d pawn. Definitely. Although here you should still be better. But yeah, this was a bad move because you missed knight d4, knight d4 more like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scottish demon goat. But yeah, you could play one of these two queen moves first. I mean, instead. Looks all right. But yeah, I mean, black position, it would be okay like if they can maneuver the knight and put this knight here and get both their knights in there. But the queen is a little bit misplaced. Mm -hmm. But now, yeah, now you don't have your advantage. Still, it should be pretty equal, I, I would guess. I'd rather have black. A6 is a great move, trying to play B5, although then he played here. It's a little weird. I thought he'd play that. Try to break mm -hmm. it down. Break it up. Yeah. Break it up or down. Either direction. Yeah, this was uh, tricky because when he played here, he's threatening this. Because your knight's loose. Mm hmm. As loose as a goose. I didn't see that, and I was just concerned about anyone to get back rank mated. Right. And so. Yeah, so here you could do this, I guess. I would play that. Mm hmm. That looks like the right move. But, yeah, I mean, he'll take your bishop whenever he wants, like now, I guess. You'll take back with the knight or pawn. 
Although I guess you could have gone F5. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I didn't see that far. Mm -hmm. But okay, that's not a huge problem. You can mm -hmm. hop in here. Um, but there are some tactics. Oh, uh -uh. I gotta plug it in. Mm -hmm. I thought it was already plugged in. No, I think I forgot it. Look in the cloth bag over there. I just completely forgot it. Forgot about Dre. <laughs> I forgot to plug my computer in. Um, are there any chat? Well, there. After we're done with this game, we're gonna do a lesson. Yeah, I have a couple of challenges. Grandmaster Cool, who I already played in Standing Ground, and then I don't know where Cameron went, but I told him. Hi, I Cameron. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and do the lesson. Um, you know, next, and then we'll return to playing some more games. Here you have to play F takes, because if you take this way, you Oh, no, you don't lose your queen. Because you could play this. And it's okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, F5, I mean, that'd be okay. Yeah. But, yeah, now you're losing. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> the rest of the game wasn't very uh, important yeah, yeah. <laughs> at that point. She just resigned, and I did. Uh -huh. um, trying not to learn says I would take the knight back with the pawn. I was thinking. When. Maybe when I he think took he my meant, bishop. Uh, oh. He said I would take oh. the knight back. So I think he meant when I was talking about this and that. Oh, okay. I don't know, though. <clears throat> oh, the queen, oh, the queen. He means. Oh, oh, you're right, right. So he's saying here, queen takes. That just loses a pawn without any calculations, so I didn't calculate that. It's too, too attacking, that. Um. So I thought pawn takes, then you could try to win a pawn back, but it doesn't work. Southern Chris says, Spencer, what's your thoughts on time management in Blitz games? Is it something you particularly pay attention to? Well, I try to play as fast as possible in a Blitz game, mm. especially with no increment. And, uh, you know, depending on the time control, I'll, I'll take a, a pause for reflection if necessary, if I have to calculate something because it's getting complicated. But usually I just make a move as fast as I can, you know, as fast as I feel comfortable, at least. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I mean, it's tough. You know, it depends on the position. It depends on the opponent. You know, if your opponent's playing slower, you can afford to play a little slower, too, because they might be playing better moves if they're playing slower. So then you have to play a little bit slower. Yeah. So it's kind of tough. It's tough to say. Anyways, you want to get on with the, uh, yeah. with the games? Yeah, we'll I get on with, with the Fisher games. And then at the end, I'll play some more people. So... Um, I don't know, you know, if you can keep your challenge there. I guess if you're on a laptop, it's easier to do that. Right, not then, a phone. But, um, but yeah, I'll play people at the end. All right, so we'll look at two games where Fisher played uh, B3 on move one. And they were both, he both, both times he got into kind of like a hedgehog formation. The first game's against Tukmakov. Tukmakov's pretty good. My dad played him a few times. At least once. Mm. I think more than once. E5. How do you spell his last name? Tukmakov. Mm -hmm. T-U-K-M-A-K-O-V. Oh. Tukmakov. Mm. Where is he from? Mm. I'm not I'm sure. Curious. I would guess Russia. Yeah, <laughs> probably Kov. Yeah, and also his name's Vladimir. Oh, Vladimir. <laughs> Vladimir Borisovich. <laughs> Pretty Russian. Anyways, he plays C4, so that's not really like the most common way to go. Usually a modern GM will play like E3, but C4 is okay. Plays E3 anyway, but he just doesn't have the option to play Bishop B5 like most people who play B3 want to do. Chuklikov goes here, and A3. So we already see that he's gonna set up like a hedgehog coming up with his pawn structure with the queen and kicks it yeah so yes the classic hedgehog pawn structure what's important to note is that the c pawn was traded for the d pawn 
That's what really makes it a hedgehog, you know, a proper hedgehog formation. Usually black has the setup though, so it's, it's sort of like a color's reversed. Reverse, reverse. And usually this isn't the best square for the knight in a hedgehog, usually it goes there. Mm -hmm. But he got a free tempo to hit the queen, so he'll take a free tempo. You know, if he if he if he's given that. So it's just putting a little pressure here and here. These are two pawns that could potentially become weak. H6, H3, I played that, Queen E6, Knight D2. So he's protecting it. Knight D7 and Bishop E2. So the next couple of moves uh, Tukmikov plays are, are both a little bit inaccurate. Are you reading some of the chat here? Yeah, Anything I'm Anything interesting? Um, and he's from Ukraine. Oh. <laughs> That's the same as Russia, according to Russia. <laughs> That's true. Um, so here he goes for a couple of inaccurate moves. Uh, King H8 which improves the position, but he could have played queen g6, which is kind of a nice move because now you can't castle and take your h-pawn. Also, it attacks your g-pawn, so you can't just ignore it either. Can't play bishop f3 because then I'll take that. So probably g4 is the best move in this position, but then it would be a little bit riskier to, to castle mm -hmm. after g4. Not that it's that bad for white, it should be okay. But you might as well play queen g6 to stop him from castling and or make him play g4 at least. So king h8 doesn't really do anything, which is normally okay, but you could have done something good. And then he goes for uh, bishop g6. Computer also didn't like this move because it allowed Fisher to play b4. It wants him to play a5 instead of bishop g6. <clears throat> and yeah, this is pretty tough for white because, I mean for black, because white's going to attack on the queen side and black doesn't really have a great plan. I and mean, black can make some pawn break, like here, um, although that would weaken e4 quite a lot. And black's not really set up for like a king side attack, right? Black's sort of like maneuvering around in the center a bit. So, you know, black's flexible and has like, his piece is all sort of ready in case of anything, but he doesn't really have a, a concrete plan. And meanwhile, white's going to expand on the queen side and, and target this pawn, potentially. You know, this pawn is kind of a problem. And what makes this different than a lot of hedgehogs is that a lot of times this pawn would be here. Like if it was colors reversed, white would have c4. Mm -hmm. Or here, black could have c5. And then black would have a lot more space. So here, white is actually having more space on the queen side. And also, it's easier to play d4 if there's no c-pawn. Now, it looks pretty tough to play d4 here because his bishop's here, but you mm -hmm. just wait. <laughs> he does get in d4 later at a timely moment. Yeah. Hey, Owen. Hey, intelligent. Nice. Owen and intelligence here. <laughs> intelligent. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, too. a6. And he goes rook c1. So, yeah, he's already sort of targeting this pawn. Yeah. Rook a c8. That's pretty passive, but he, you know, sees the writing on the wall. And knight a4. Yeah, this is really nice. His plan is to get his knights in there. So he's making good use of his tempo here. That he, he earned that tempo earlier. Well, both sides have wasted a, a bunch of tempi. <laughs> you know, he played queen here, then back, then over there. Fisher played rook d1, then rook c1. So there's a little bit of shadow boxing going on there. But uh, yeah, now Fisher knows exactly what to do, and he's going to, going to get it done. Um, he probably could have improved his defense here a bit, but I don't like black's position anyway. Uh, probably bishop f7 is the best move. This stops knight b3. He played knight a7, which is a pretty passive move. I guess he wants to play knight b5. And also he played knight a7 because after knight b3, he wants to play b6 without losing his knight. His knight would be hanging here. Mm. And b6 stops knight c5. But this is pretty bad. I mean, this pawn's backwards. This is terrible, frankly. And this is also weak, which is a problem that we'll see.
coming up. So probably at knight b5 is a better move, but he'd have to give up two bishops about else if he did this, like this, because it's a fork. Probably the best way to go is, you know, maybe you could try to defend it, but the knight is, you know, by moving the queen, the knight is, like, intolerable anyway. It's just really strong Yeah. Uh -huh. So you just snap it off. I guess queen takes, right? Yeah, I mean, white's significantly better here. It has two bishops for free and can still continue to attack on the queen side with a4, b5. And even can try to play d d4 coming up. d4 looks totally playable move after the knight gets kicked away. This is just a really pleasant position. I'm sure Fisher would win it. b6. Yeah. And now Fisher does get it going. I was mentioning this before. d4. Nice. Now Tuklikov saw this, but he thought he had uh, some tricks here. Check out this one. How did you handle f4? Let's see. Yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. E takes f4 not to be recommended, Scottish demon goat. <laughs> <laughs> not best. Let's see. I guess... Um... Please see the above message once, Spencer. Pardon me. Scrolling on. Oh, yeah, you're right. The, the scroller doesn't work here. What's that? Not about? very well. It's just horrible. We just need a better. Wait, what's going on over here? But this is what I thought. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's Nur. What's going on? Oh, there's Fortuna, um, Fortuna Chess Coach. Hey, how's it going? I see him in the other chat over here. Solving puzzles. Interesting, if true. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes we have puzzle streams, you know? Oh, yeah, we definitely do some puzzle streams. Probably once a week. Yeah, you could check our YouTube. We have uh, videos mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, Ben has done one with me, and then you've done a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. I, but the problem with this, I love doing them. I take... <laughs> I take so long to solve them, but you know, maybe, yeah, maybe it's not a horrible thing. But um, but I do like doing the puzzle streams. Hey Pam, um, and who is the white here? That's too. Oh, that's Fortuna. Fortuna. Okay. Oh, Fortuna. <laughs> Moist. Wait, what? All right, back to this again. Well, it looks like you have to either go Bishop D three or um. Or um, I mean, you gotta do something. You can't just let you lose your queen. Or you could counterattack bishop c4. Um, the problem with counterattacking is that once they take get white's the rook. queen, yeah, the rook and knight are yeah, yeah, knight yeah. on b3 is hanging as well. So um, although not if bishop c4 actually, but and then if you don't do that, then you have to move the queen. Yay, my T's here. It's tea time. You could make, you could go e4. Thank you, sweetie. I don't know what's better. Yeah, e4 is what he played, but mm. there's a lot of tactics uh, revolving around that move. Yeah. If e4, what tactical move do you think Black could try? You'd have to calculate this if you were. Uh, this is like those puzzles that we did, where it's like try to find the tempting move that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. Yeah. There's a tempting move here for black, but it doesn't quite work. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, tempting move for black. That's an overworked theme. Motif. White's got a couple of loose material, pieces of material here. Mm -hmm. Dang, Pam's got it. Mm -hmm. Good, go wow. Pam. I didn't think Pam would see tactics. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um... 
I usually don't drink tea myself because I've been uh, I've been off that caffeine. But that's just me. <laughs> just just teasing, Pam. Come on. <laughs> chai tea is the best tea. Well, I like uh, Thai chi better, but that's just me. Yeah, Black Knight tries to see Bishop takes e4. Yeah. Queen takes and Queen takes b3. That's right, which also attacks the knight on a4. Mm -hmm. And if the knight on a4 moves away, the bishop on b2 is hanging. Right. So that kind of looks winning, and I think Tukmakov was planning on doing that. Mm -hmm. But when we calculate it a little bit further, you'll see that it's not winning. He didn't take. He realized here it didn't work. Okay. He's probably like, I don't think Fisher would just hang everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Fisher's pretty good. So white has a counterattacking move that's pretty strong. Um, he can ignore that, his own knight, and attack something else. Earl Grey is the best tea. Who are these people talking about teas? <laughs> yeah, you could just go in bishop d3. Bishop d3 is actually not bad. That's knight f6 would answer it, though. Oh. Because it protects mate and attacks the queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think bishop d3 is actually still a good move, but I had a, mm -hmm. a better move that I think Fisher would have played here. Um. But, yeah, the chat likes bishop d3. But, yeah, knight f6. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay. Queen C E five. <laughs> oh, Queen takes E five. Also a funny move. How does that not hang the queen? Well, Queen C two would. Uh, I mean, that that's not good for White. You lost a pawn. So if you play Queen C two, I could even just trade queens with Black, and I'm a pawn up. So you got that wouldn't be Fisher's answer here. Dang, nobody in chat's got it yet. Well, I'm going to just keep looking for a moment. <laughs> People suggest D takes E5, but I don't really understand that. I mean, your knight on A4 is hanging, and what does D takes E5 attack other than, I mean, you won the pawn, but mm -hmm. I don't know. And then E6, I'll move my knight, knight F6. What's the problem there? Take the pawn. Are you saying queen takes f4? Because then e takes f4. Oh, right, right. Yeah, the invisible man does have a good idea. <laughs> Even though I was mocking him there. <laughs> Who, Fortuna? No, the invisible man. Oh, there really is a my Oh, there is a the, the invisible man. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, knight c3 doesn't threaten anything, Pam. And you would hung your bishop on b2 then. Let's see. Yeah, chat's catching on now. They, they've said almost every forcing move, so <laughs> <laughs> now they found it. Oh, darn. Um, I don't really see. I mean, um, bishop takes a6. Uh, yeah, I mean, that attacks the rook. Knight. Yeah. And it wins a pawn. But it um, seems like there's probably something better. Oh, that's the best move. Oh, that is it? Yeah, I mean, it oh. takes a pawn and attacks the rook. Oh, okay. Pretty I saw good that. Move. Hey, I'm going to adjust the light for you. Well, then I did see it. Oh, sure. I saw that a while ago. But, but I was looking for something better. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, because that's the problem, is it looks like it kind of loses material. Because mm -hmm. white will lose two pieces for a rook. But we can analyze it deeper. Takes. Takes. Mm -hmm. Takes. You got to take with the rook, because your c pawn might fall. And then we'll play de. So here, white's got a pawn and a rook for two knights. Now, two pieces are almost always better than a rook. The two knights are like the worst two pieces to have for the rook. And these knights are pretty bad. I mean, this knight, enough said. Mm -hmm. And then this one's hanging. Also, this is hanging. And this bishop's bad, too. And mm -hmm. the rook is passive. And yeah. the queen's in, um, over there in no right. man's land. So actually, this is just lost. Computer says like plus three, plus four. Just totally winning. You know, to me, it's a little bit more complicated, but 
I would definitely prefer white. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you say every legal move, eventually you'll get it. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> Naran Onum. <laughs> yeah, and white's rooks are amazing, yes. And white's bishop's really good, too. And the queen's good. All of white's pieces are amazing here, and all of black's pieces are terrible. So having two knights for a rook and a pawn, and you're going to lose another pawn, is not sufficient. So I think Tuklikov understood that a little late. At this moment, he was like, ah, that's not good for me, so I can't do that trick that I wanted to do. Um, if bishop d3, he might be able to play something like e4 and, and try f3. Although e4, bishop c4 might be good. So maybe he could trade first and then play e4 and then play f3. And then, you know, you're, you're getting uh, broken on the king side. So that's interesting. You know, at least black would have some chances against the king there. But yeah, e4 is really strong. I mean, his center is great. The tactics don't work out for black. That makes it the best move, really. Still, computer does like bishop takes the most and just says it's lost. Hmm. He, he plays uh, knight b5. He's like, I don't want my knight on a7 the whole game. Okay, I can agree with that. Bishop g4. It's a strong move. Took this. Yeah, white's position is uh, very dynamic at this point. And he played knight takes, just losing the rook. Because what are you going to do? And he's losing more material here. So he just resigned. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, this, is, this is like my game with... What's uh, really bad here is if you protect it, to learn. you undefend this pawn. So he can just take that pawn because there's a pin. Oof. That would be too unsightly. Mm -hmm. So resigns was appropriate. If the tactics don't work, it's wrong. Yes, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> So white is better sounds like an, an erase, a racism to me. It's an racism. <laughs> <laughs> so he crushed Tukmakov pretty bad there. Uh, Tukmakov was pretty young during this game, as you might imagine. He's much younger than Fisher. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Fisher uh, got him pretty good there. And he also had a game here. The next game will be against a young Ulf Anderson. Not to be confused with Adolf Anderson, who had the opposite play style, although the same last name. Well, perhaps they spelled it differently. I think they did, actually. How old is Ulf Anderson? Is he still alive? Yeah, Ulf's still around. Yeah, because it was just funny. Just by happenstance, somebody brought his name up today on di the Discord server. Yeah. Yeah. We are analyzing another game, yeah. Intelligent. I usually analyze two games. So this is um, Fisher against... Yeah. White again? Yeah, against Ulf. Ulf, against Ulf Anderson. So, and it was pretty similar. Again, he, he goes for a, uh, he goes for a, like, a, a hedgehog setup as White. Mm -hmm. I remember, actually, the first time I saw this game was in a hedgehog book by Shipov, The Complete Hedgehog. I still have that book. Mm. It's a two-volume, maybe even three-volume series. I think I only have the first two volumes, unless there are only two volumes. Which is possible. Did you play the hedgehog? I have. It's kind of yeah. tough to get into because you need a lot of cooperation from your opponent. Yeah. Uh, here, Ulf, he's like, you know, seeing into the future and uh, always plays bishop f8. You know. <laughs> but that's not a great move, surprisingly. He should play d5 at once, which he does later. And it's actually better to do it w with this bishop here because he has an idea that is very unusual. I wouldn't expect it, but I'll show you what my analysis was here. Here it is. It's bishop g5. Yeah, instead of bishop f8. Bishop g5, a little bit more active of a, of a square. I mean, he'll just go back to h6 if, uh, if possible, you know. Just making sure I was on the right position here. And the point is that if you play knight takes, queen takes, it's kind of difficult to defend your pawn. You know, if you, you can't play bishop e2. Mm -hmm. Could play g3, but a little weird to play g3 and e3. So uh, yeah. computer says taking's okay and not taking's okay. You could just go here and bishop h6. They're both about equal. 
But I don't think most people would play bishop g5 or think about it or care about that. It seems pretty weird to me. The computer likes it. It says it's equal. I did more analysis, but it said it was equal, so I believed it. Bishop f8. Yeah, it doesn't like bishop f8. It, it's going to be like the same situation, basically, where black doesn't have a great plan. He plays a5. Unlike Tukmakov, he learned from Tukmakov. I don't know which game was first. Maybe he did. But he can't <laughs> play b4 now, so Fisher won't be able to expand on the queen side so easily, like we saw him do against Tukmakov. Yeah. Setting up for the next game. More like Oof Anderson. <laughs> That's true. Let's see, bishop e2, and now he goes for d5. So we get the same structure. He never plays f6, but it's okay because he already always played bishop f8. So they cancel each other out. Yeah. And bishop e6. So now this is a good exercise. Uh, try to find a plan for white. He stopped what Fisher did last game, so you can't even use that as a uh, as a ruler. You gotta just be creative and find your own plan here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. White's pawns can't possibly be good, right? Well, this is a pretty common hedgehog formation. Uh, you'll see this quite often, but black will have white's pawn structure, and white will have black's pawn structure, but a lot of times white will have the C pawn up, like this. And it's Obviously, it's less space for white, but white does have an extra center pawn. That's why I mentioned last game, it's important to know that a hedgehog formation is when you trade the C pawn for the D pawn. That's an important part of it. You can't just put all your pawns in the third rank and say it's a hedgehog. You know, then you're just going to have less space. But he has an extra center pawn, and it's dynamic. If white ever plays D4 like he did against Tukmakov, uh, it's not going to be bad for him, you know, to do that. So... That's a uh, that's one reason to play this opening in in this way. Hmm. Maybe you can somehow sack the exchange in order to play King B one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I hate the hedgehog. Dang, tough. I ha you have zero experience with the hedgehogs. I have mm -hmm. neither hate nor love. <laughs> Just another opening. Let's see. Just another manic opening. <laughs> I only hate the London, says Scottish Demon Goat. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. We have some interesting plans in the chat. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, a donation. 15 okay. bucks. Yay. Thanks, Anton. Yay. Thank you, Anton. Yay. That was good. Um, I don't know. Pam loves the London. Yeah. I've seen her play it. Yeah, I like the London, but I used to play Queen's Gambit a lot. And trying not to learn loves the London. Mm -hmm. A lot of London lovers. Yeah, the London's kind of like the opposite of this opening in a lot of ways. You know, the London's very classical, very solid. Mm -hmm. Usually uh, not so many pawn breaks, you know, at least not so, not so like, uh, not so many game-changing pawn breaks. But the Hedgehog's the opposite. It's hyper-modern. Uh, a, a it's all about the pawn breaks. If white doesn't get in pawn breaks, it'll be worse. Or if black's playing the hedgehog, black needs to get in the pawn breaks, and the other side's trying to stop it. Mm -hmm. And it's like very double-edged, strategically double-edged. Yeah, I'm not sure about a plan. I mean, it seems like you could play on the king side, but I don't know. That's always, what kangaroo wants to do. Always know the criteria. Yeah. Well, I was mainly thinking because there's two against three on the queen side. Mm -hmm. So you have more pawns on the king side, and the pieces seem positioned for black more on the queen side, but I don't know. I don't have a plan. Well, there are uh, a couple of ideas that make sense here that the chat mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, the normal play would be to play with d4. 
I was looking at D4. You could just play D4 right now, even. Mm-hmm. You know, really. Or you can do, somebody mentioned this in the chat, this is like a typical maneuver. You play Rook C1, then Queen to A1. That's a really normal thing to do in the Hedgehog. You see that all the time. Yeah, because that file's half open. Yeah, and the diagonal. And then you could play d4 and break open the diagonal mm -hmm. for the queen and bishop battery. So that's pretty nice, too. But Fisher did do kangaroo's plan. King h1. Mm -hmm. Interesting move. And then after queen d7, rook g1. He's going to play g4, g5. Yeah, yeah, I said play on the king side. Yeah, but didn't I didn't say King H one. No, no, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know exactly what to do, but it seemed like they didn't really have very good defense over there. Take it easy, Kappa. Yay, kangaroo. Um, Kappa's leaving. Yeah, he said he has to go to sleep. Night, night. Oh, bye, Kappa. Dream about sorry, the hedgehog. <laughs> sorry, we didn't get to talk to you more. See you. Yeah, this is a really creative idea. Yeah, that's great. And it's one that you can play with black and a hedgehog, too. I've done it myself, actually. Mm -hmm. And there's a famous game. It was uh, Kramnik against Carlson from 2009, where they played a hedgehog. And, and Kramnik, I mean, Carlson, rather, did play king h8, rook g8, and g5. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just g5 and not, and not king h8. Maybe, though. I can't remember. Yeah, Carlson played, like, g5 and then f5 and pushed all his kingside pawns. So it's definitely an idea. And this is the pawn break he wants. He wants to play g5 and break it down for the bishop. Mm -hmm. He didn't feel like playing d4. That's like a normal move. Maybe he thought it was too boring. White says, uh, a computer says white's better there as well. But um, this is definitely interesting. Also, it should be mentioned, this was an exhibition game. So it wasn't like a rated tournament game. So probably Fisher is playing a little bit more creatively for that reason. Because, mm -hmm. like, who cares, you know, if he loses? Yeah. Obviously, he's trying as hard as he can to win because he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to move the thing again. Every time the light changes outside, it gets dark in here. That's true. It, it is, uh, like, the clouds have been messing us up. So he was crazy. You're seeing that already? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, he always had, like, a, you know, personality disorder. Yeah. I didn't know but how it, it drove him to be a good chess player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sun keeps going in and out outside, so it doesn't change our lighting. He plays knight e4. He can't play g4 right now because it would hang it, um, although maybe he could now that he's played knight e4. No, I think he still can't. But anyways, queen f7. He's trying to target this, and then g4. Mm -hmm. So now... Uh, Ulf makes a mistake. He plays g6. He wants to play g6, bishop g7. And g6 makes sense because he wants to answer g, g5 with f5. Yeah, and then he can't play g6 intermezzo because the black pawn's on g6. So uh, that move makes sense, but it, it doesn't quite work out for him. Probably better would be to get his bishop on this diagonal. Knight b6 is a computer recommendation to go like this. For example, uh, what was the move here? This also attacks the pawn, so knight fd2 would be the normal defense of that. And then bishop d5 to create some un uncomfortableness here. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> some seems, discomfort. seems a little scary. But uh, after like h3 or h4 and king h2, it's not a big problem mm -hmm. for white. You know, white's kind of in good control on the king side doesn't have to worry about <clears throat> some sort of attack. Also, I was thinking of another game where it was a hedgehog and they pushed their g-pawn. There was a game, uh, it was uh, Charbonneau against Anand, where Anand did that and it was good, but uh, Charbonneau did end up winning the game, actually, in an upset, upset victory. Hmm. So this is not such a weird idea anymore. So he played g6, question mark. Rook g3, doubling it up, as Kangaroo said. Doubles it up. Knight c5. So he's got play all over the board. This is one problem with g6, bishop g7, is that you can't take this knight now. So it's, it's a little bit of a bother there.
And uh, yeah, now he makes actually another mistake here. He plays knight d7. A little bit passive. Let's see how the game goes, and we can uh, we can see what he should have done better in a minute. I don't want to spoil it though, because here Fisher played a really good move. I was hoping you could find it. What do you think you might try with White here? Um. People are talking about their home states. The crab opening is a super safe opening. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I haven't even heard of the crab opening. Let's see. Fortuna wants an illegal move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to see how he wins because I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Who said that? Liquis liquescence. Mm -hmm. Liquescence, I think is how you might pronounce it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rook F1? Oh. What? Yeah, D4. That's what I figured he meant. D4 is not really a crushing move. I don't really yeah, understand it. Yeah, I was looking at one of his knights moving. It's funny how the knight moves. <laughs> but I couldn't, I don't know. What exactly? What knight move were you thinking about? Well,. Obviously, if you could do something with knight f6 check, but then, then the other idea was if you took on g6, the mm -hmm. knight, then you're opening up the h file. But I just wasn't really going to quite get either one to work. And he's got the h file pretty solidly defended. Yeah, because of the bishop. Yeah, and his knight on f8 controls h7 even. Mm -hmm. That's true. So yeah, Ulf's pretty tough <laughs> defending it really solid. But still, Fisher finds a way in. All right, let me see. Let me look a little further. A lot of interesting suggestions in the chat. Somebody did suggest the right thing, but they didn't even know that they were right and suggested <laughs> something else after. Oh, they did. <laughs> well, I'm not going to look at the chat then. <clears throat> My throat is so sore from karaoke, singing two, uh, two Nirvana songs. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know I was screaming it out the whole time, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just practicing that song, uh, Doll Parts, yesterday. Great one. But that blows my voice out every time. So... You're saying the very next move is crushing, or it's like a couple of moves? Yeah, you just played a good move, you know? That's all you have to do is find a good move. Oh. It is a crushing move, though. Let's guess which two Nirvana songs. Well, you uh, could have already known if you were at the beginning of the stream, so it would be unfair for some people who already heard me, <laughs> if you wanted to guess. I don't know. Let's see what it is. Well, I could tell you. Yeah. He, pl he played uh, one of my dad's emotes. Knife F5. Mm-hmm. Nice move. Really good stuff. And uh, this move is extremely difficult to handle. Uh, for example, you'd, you'd like to take it, I guess. I guess. That's the first thing you should look at. Yeah. But now you can't defend this. Mm -hmm. What's nice is the pawn is covering the two important squares. You can't, you know, with your you can't block with your knight there. And uh, like let's say you play king h8, 
to get out of the pin. And you could take the two rooks for the queen. Knight g3, for example, not the only move uh, to defend the pawn. And knight g3 is kind of annoying because of knight h5 check, where if you go here, then queen check is kind of, you know, have to run your king over in the center. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's two rooks for a queen, which is good for the rooks, but white did nab a pawn, and also white uh, has... And black's pieces are terrible. Like, this bishop's bad, and the knight's bad. Yeah. Even the rooks aren't very active. Well, this works pretty good, I guess. But yeah, and his king is weak, and he's got weak pawns, so he's just got a ton of positional problems here. Knight h5 is also annoying, like I mentioned. Molly's lips is a good one. Hey, there's something in my eye. Hang on one second. All right. This is bothering me. Nobody even guessed one of the songs that I sang. Smells like Teen Spirit. I would never sing their most popular song. Come on. <laughs> Don't, do you know me at all? <laughs> <laughs> But I'd like to put the other knight where the rook is. Hmm, interesting. Indeed. Lake of Fire, that's a good guess. Still not quite right. Here we are now, entertain us. Lithium, yes, I did sing Lithium. Mm -hmm. So they got one of them. I sang Lithium before too. And I sang about a girl mm -hmm. before. In Bloom, I have sang, but I didn't sing it this time. I love In Bloom. Mm -hmm. Me too. I haven't sung that one now. I didn't sing Heart Shaped Box. I never sang that one. I like that song a lot, though. Hey, do you ever sing any... I don't think you've ever sung any songs with female singers, have you? No. No. I was just curious. Mm. Never listen to a single Nirvana song? What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love The Man Who Sold the World, but I like the Bowie version. Actually, I like both versions. Bowie version is the worst one. Come on. Um, it's not bad. You like I don't it? like it that much. Oh, you don't? Mm. No. I like Bowie a lot, as you know, but mm -hmm. I don't like that song, his version. Mm. Yeah, which I like is it. the original, I guess. Yeah, it is original. Yeah, I like it a lot. The other one I sang was Where Did You Sleep Last Night? You should just sing, sing a Randy Newman song. <laughs> Can you imagine me singing a Randy Newman song? <laughs> no. MTV Unplugged, that is the, uh, that is where that song is from. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it was a tough one. That was the one that got the best reception of the five songs I sang. People liked that one the most mm -hmm. when I was done singing it. They're clapping, yay. Yeah. Lithium, you Go mean? Spencer. No. Where oh. did you sleep last night? Oh, okay. I got confused. Um, yeah. You, um, you should try a, fem a female song sometime. This is Fisher Anderson, GM Benjamin Feingold. But anyways, he didn't take. Even though it wasn't even the right position because he didn't play this variation, he still knew what game it was. <laughs> That's <laughs> Pretty funny. funny. <laughs> Maybe he was listening. No. <laughs> Bishop e6, that's the best defense. But he's lost now. Knife c5, you know it's tough when it's knight f5 and knight c5. Mm -hmm. You're like, uh oh, still doesn't look great. <laughs> Goes here to trade off one of the Man, look knights at away. It. Black's pieces are <clears throat> so all just passive. jammed in there. Together. All right, he's getting jammed up like in uh, Always Sunny. <laughs> why are you jamming me up? <laughs> that's, what, that's what Anderson was saying. It's like, why, and and Fisher's like, I'm not trying to jam you up. <laughs> Except he was trying to jam him up. Hmm. There, he saw it. Yeah, he's getting tore up here. B6, check. Now there's a problem if you take it... Um, I guess 94 would be good. He's also thinking you're walking into a pin, so he could take this and push. So he just goes back, which is kind of sad. Does take it, and then he gets in his other pawn break. Got in all his pawn breaks. And the problem here is that bishop c4 is coming, which is going to win oh, material. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. But you can't really do anything about that because you can't let him do this either and connect his pawns and win two pawns. So he took and gave up the exchange. But he does do this, actually. He has this, so he still gives up this pawn. Which, uh, I guess Fisher could ignore it, but he just took it. Because uh, Fisher's still up one pawn, right? Yeah. And he's got two bishops, Vatelis. And they look pretty good. I mean, he could also take this. So Anderson sacked the exchange anyway. Kind of funny how that worked out. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, even sacking the exchange isn't going to help him, unfortunately. Now he's just down a ton of material and he lost. But we can play out the game a bit. They played on and on for like a few more moves. I just heard the phone. Yeah, but they they didn't. Uh, they just hung up. They didn't leave a message. Oh, okay. H5. Look at that. <laughs> Still getting jammed up here. E4. Yeah, Anderson must have been a fan of 960 chess with the way he's setting up his pieces this game. Uh, let's see. He goes for rook d2. Rook h3. Yeah, it's tough. It's a hard knock life. And here comes the F pawn. He made sure he pushed all of his pawns this game. See, Anderson, he still kept two pawns here. What are you doing? Push all your pawns, buddy. Queen g5. And uh, knight d6. And then after takes, he finally resigned. She could have done several moves ago. Because mm -hmm. he's down a pawn and the exchange. And Fisher's had the initiative the whole game. And he's just in total control. His king's pretty safe, too. So really good game by Fisher. Like I said, it was an exhibition game, so Fisher was playing pretty creatively. Mm -hmm. um, but still extremely strong and very difficult for black to handle. Yeah, very tough game for black there. But still, it was a young Anderson. So I'm sure he learned from this experience. And then so, decided to draw every game for the rest of his life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when you say exhibition game... Um, it wasn't a tournament game, and it wasn't rated if there were ratings. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a raid. Yay. Nice. Thanks, Chess Dojo Live. Yay, Chess Dojo Live. Awesome. Now, the question is, which dojo is there? Is it Kavutsky? Right. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much for the raid. Kostya, thank you so much. Yay. Oh, nice. I've played Kostya a couple times. Yeah? Yeah, we drew once, um, but he beat me in a rapid game once. Okay, cool. Yeah, I love your channel, Chess Dojo. Let me see if I can even type in a little oh, shout, shout out. out. Yeah. Nice. But, um, yeah, thank you for the raid. Um, yeah, everybody loves Kavutsky. Mm -hmm, what's not to love? Let's yeah, see. he's so cool. He's, like, suave, you know? <laughs> Wait, do you have to type shout out instead of SO? Uh, I think on my channel. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't have the. I don't have it. Um, I knew it. I have it on Ben's. I set it up. I, I need to do it. Um, also, Kavutsky is physically impossible to spell right. That's well, true. It's <laughs> Although it seems like he might have done it. He might have spelled it correctly. I don't think it's UI. Oh, uh, really? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was K-A-V-U-T-S-K-Y. I can almost swear to it. but um, I can barely spell my own name, so... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, welcome. Um, welcome to the Raiders. Of the Lost Ark. <laughs> you just missed, Spencer was going over a couple of game, Fisher games um, with the, what's it called, the Nimzo Larson attack. Yes. B3. So um, you just missed that part. Uh Oh, okay, there's an IY at the end. I didn't remember that. Darn. I'll believe it. <laughs> Anyways, you still have some time to get some uh, g some games in. Yeah. So I don't know when Ben Ben is streaming. I don't think he's streaming till 9. That's possibly true. Did, did you know, Why did you get rid of those? It had increment. Oh, increment. No increment. <laughs> okay, so if anybody wants to play me and then Spencer will be here another 30 minutes and can analyze, then I can play some people. Yeah. Um, but I prefer five or three minutes. 
No oh, increments. Go. Standing ground's got it. <laughs> and I don't really care if it's rated or unrated. It doesn't matter to me because my rating goes up and down anyway like a yo-yo. That is how a yo-yo goes. <laughs> yeah, so it's all good. I don't have any idea about this. <laughs> I've seen you play like this before. Uh, let's see. Well, I just, I mean, I just don't know this opening at all. If it's even a real opening. <laughs> it seems like it's real. It's not imaginary. <laughs> but don't forget to play faster because it's a three minute game. Okay. Andy, you're a star challenged you. That's not really his name. It's a song by the Killers. Oh, and Scottish Demon Goat's in here too. Got a lot of challenges. So mm -hmm. popular. Let's see. Did you know poplar was a kind of tree? Poplar? Yeah. I learned that from American Dad when he's uh, <laughs> Rogers pretending to be a ventriloquist dummy. Mm -hmm. um, so all of, he's making a lot of jokes that are like puns about trees. So he's like, uh, yeah, my, my, you know, my friends always say I'm a son of a birch and stuff like that. <laughs> and he's like, wow, there's so many people here. I didn't know I was so poplar. And then he's like, poplar is a kind of tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It still is a kind of tree, too. Yeah, that's that's true. Got a lot more space. Mm-hmm, true. Ben is streaming tonight at 9. Now it looks like a Benoni with colors reversed. Poor Europeans. Karen is doing well on the clock, that's true. I wouldn't mind White's position. Really, it looks pretty, pretty fun for a Benoni player, such as myself. Opponent's a little underrated. Well, maybe. Perhaps. We'll have to see when, you know, if he hangs his queen or something <laughs> before we say that. It's only been 17 moves. <laughs> Scottish Demon Goat likes both sides. Okay, that's fair. I think the clock will really decide this game, though. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. Can I do with this guy? Nightbot's telling you to play faster. A good suggestion. I, I would tell that to both players, honestly. He's standing his ground, like George Zimmerman.
like it. Got some compensation going. It's like condensation. Put it in H. <laughs> he did put it in H. Go, Karen. You got it. Oh, exchange sack. Didn't weren't ready for that one. <laughs> nice, nice pre move. Nice. So you let him queen, but he couldn't queen in time. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun to watch. Got him so slow. <laughs> Good game, slow. standing ground. <laughs> yeah, we can analyze that one. In the opening, I didn't like how either of you played it, <laughs> frankly. Yeah. Damn, I'm so slow. So this is kind of a tough position for black because... Uh, your pawn is like loose, mm -hmm. and when you played bishop d6, that hung this pawn. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. But your pawn is actually not hanging. Like, if you go here, mm -hmm. pretty sure I'm right. Like, if he takes it, you could do this, and then if he moves the knight, you check and win this knight. Oh, okay. A little yeah. tactical trick. Mm -hmm. And I think it still works even in this case. Maybe he could like check you first to stop that though. And then after you get out of the check you Yeah, like this is like sort of like another variation with colors reversed. But this is looks like it's losing. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Huh. Well here you could just move this knight anyway. Was that was that you post G three thousand? I wasn't sure who but it yeah, was. After here, you could just win this pawn for free. Because if you check him, he just goes back. Okay. Instead, he played here, which is a ridiculous move, <laughs> honestly. I mean, you could just play d4 if you wanted. Mm -hmm. But this move was actually okay. These moves all look pretty good and good enough. Mm-hmm. A6, I didn't really expect that. I thought you'd like push here and then push here and then play knight c6. Yeah, I should have done that. This seems like a great move because where is he going to move his knight? He's going to go here and let you take. Well, this doesn't look great. Go here and put your knight there. Hey, you got to get out your knight. Mm -hmm. You know, your knight's the only thing that hasn't been developed and she played a6, which I don't know. I guess he wants to play b5. Yeah. But yeah, you got to develop your knight in the opening. Here, I think you should take, but you could go back. C5 looks pretty good. Well, here's the problem, though, is that your your pawn is hanging. So if you want to go back, you have to go back here. Mm-hmm. I didn't notice it was hanging. Yeah, he could have taken the pawn, yes. And then the pawn is hanging for several moves, actually. Because even here, he played C takes <laughs> yeah. instead of E takes. And then you finally defended it. Nice. Now all these moves looked pretty smart. Pretty smart. So now, uh, you know, to have a plan here, I would probably play with f5 and e4, because that's like the normal Benoni plan. Mm -hmm. But you can also try to play this. Anyways, your bishop move doesn't really do any of those plans, but that's okay. You could just sort of move around and do nothing too. I'd probably play a5 here to stop b4. Instead, you played like this. And then here, I'd probably put my knight back here because you blocked the pass pawn blockading it. But here, this is a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to stop this fork, which he did. It's kind of funny that everybody's talking about how great your opponent played when he played here, and then he didn't take your free bishop. <laughs> I know. And then, I was... and then he played this instead. <laughs> I was like, okay. 
maybe he is 800 then. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> now it looks like you've got a lot of comp. I mean, you even won back the pawn, and here you can just fork and win the rook. And so you went here. Not as good. And then, then it just dissolved into a mess because of the time situation. Well, I like knight d4. Yeah, knight d4 looked good. I'd probably take with my rook to yeah, protect my pawn. Yeah. But okay, at this point, you both had like 20 or 30 seconds. He attacked this, but then didn't take it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this was all good. But yeah, you didn't have a lot of time here, but you should take this, then mate him. It's mate in two. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just couldn't think. That's just well, well, if you're afraid of this pawn, you could take the pawn, too. I wasn't even thinking about the pawn. I was just trying <laughs> to move. <laughs> also, you could just make pre-moves because you have two queens. So just always check and pre-move <laughs> checks. true. Scottish Demon Goat says he played like a 920 in his time. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um... Can I get a Coke from Yeah, do you need more money? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can come get it. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can still play somebody else. What about Andy? Um, yeah, we'll just keep it going. All right. Let's see. Nice. Oh, no, uh, no increment, Cathal. But anyways, probably won't have time to play you because there are a lot of other people in the, in the queue. Mm-hmm. True. True that. <clears throat> Exclam London. Oh, Nirononim really wants to play you because it might be his last stream in a, in a long time. Sad. Really? Why? Oh, because I forgot why. Is it because you're... School or something? School. Unimportant like that. Um, like, who even cares about school? Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, school's important. Yeah, for the people who work in the school. Now, let me see what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> Oh, and Nuranonim's moving. Oh, really? Well, if that's moving up, then I'm moving out. <laughs> <laughs> to do anything here. Wouldn't the increment help Karen in her constant time trouble? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but she refuses to play with increment. It's not my stream. I can't tell her what to do. Yeah, people seem you know, more concerned about my losses than me. I mean, I don't like to lose, believe me. I would like to get faster. I don't mm -hmm. really see how that's going to help me get faster if I... Um, Use increment as a crutch? Yeah. That's possibly true. So, Spencer, a bottle of red or a bottle of white? <laughs> Is that from the Billy Joel song? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like Billy Joel. Billy Joel. He's all right, I guess. Billy Joel. I like Billy Idol more than Billy Joel. We saw the um, <laughs> the Seinfeld. Do you know? You don't know Seinfeld, do you? It just reminded me of what you said. One of the things. What's his name? George broke up with, um, I mean, think of a move first. Okay. Sure, you will. Okay, just lay it down for me. Thank you, bub. <clears throat> he didn't want to tell, <clears throat> tell her what, I can't remember now why he said he broke up, but she just pressed him and pressed him and pressed him on watch. So he finally, he said, you know, she was pretentious, and when she said, Something like Samuel. It's Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one. It's funny. Yeah, she went into a mental institution, um, 
I guess because she was so upset that he um, broke up with her. Yeah, I don't that usually, sounds about right. I don't usually know all the... Oh, that seems bad. I don't usually know all of the um, Seinfelds. Where do I go? If I go over here, I'm going to get forked. you got to speed it up, though. All That's right. good. Didn't and get forked? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> I don't like Billy o Ocean at all. Jeez, that's like the worst of all the Billies. Oh, Bill, who's talking about Billy Ocean? It was up a bit. I forgot. Oh, I was horrible. waiting for you to end your story. Horrible. <laughs> my goodness. I can't even think of a Billy Ocean song off the top of my head. Isn't he Caribbean Queen? That sounds right. Or was that somebody else? No, I think he is Caribbean Queen. Caribbean Queen, even. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Billy Eilish, I don't know about that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's not a good song. <clears throat> Luckily, your opponent's letting you catch up on the clock a little. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Bring it, bring it a little closer. <laughs> Get out of my car and into my dreams. Is that him? Although, obviously, you did it backwards on purpose, but... Billy Holiday will be the best Billy. I'll, I'll believe that. <clears throat> yeah, I do know that song. Terrible. Billy Ocean should be ashamed of himself for that. Billy Bob Thornton is good. Look at that active king in the end game. That's what you like to see. Mm -hmm. All right, we need a Billy tier ranking. A Billy what? It's like a tier, you know, a, a tier system. You know, like A tier is Billy Idol. You know, B tier is, is Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like that. F tier is Billy Ocean. Me in there. S tier is Billy Holiday. Hmm. Interesting position, I would say. Billy Jean is cool, but she keeps accusing me of paternity. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the kid is not my son. Not my son. I don't know much about Billy Ray Cyrus. Other than th that's Miley Cyrus's relative, I guess, right? Is that how it goes? I know very little about Miley Cyrus, I have to admit. <clears throat> It looks like a dead draw. What? It was never a dead draw. Nur known him. It's always complicated position. Hey, you even have more time now. Crazy. Still theory. <laughs> Both sides trying to double up on the seventh rank. That's when you know it's getting crazy. Mm. Tough stuff. Andy's not joking around. Oh, but you thought he was joking around. Ah, oh, darn, I need to see it. Yeah, he set you up there with that one. That's why uh, he walked his king up. Uh, well, I was just trying to hurry. Mm-hmm. 
At least you didn't lose on time, though. That's true, but it was, I had low time. Good game, Andy. I didn't even see it. Now, what are people talking? There's, you know, about Billy's. The, oh, the different Billy's. <laughs> Let's analyze this game. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we were just talking about in a King's Indian setup how you don't have to move your knight so early because mm -hmm. you might want to play c4, knight c3. Mm -hmm. So you just get out your king side first like this. This is what you do first, then castle. Okay. And then you decide this later. Okay, that's when they've fan catted. Like a King's Indian defense, okay. yeah. All right. That's the way to do it. Now with knight d2, I would play... Um, with black, when you play knight d2, c3, e5 is a better idea here. So I would play like knight d7 and e5. But they play mm. bishop g4, which isn't very good. And then you won the bishop pair again. This always happens to you. This move is interesting. I thought about the b-pawn a bit. Yeah, well, you could even play queen f3. Mm -hmm. Just That's a little risky of a move. But I think it works. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I could just play queen c7, so... Yeah, I, don't, I guess you should just retreat it. This all seems pretty good. But your bishop pair is not extremely strong because it's kind of tough for you to make a pawn break now. Mm -hmm. So it's not the best bishop pair I've ever seen. But I still like white. And you give up the bishop pair, which is okay, I guess. And then here you could fork him. He walked right into that fork. Mm. But then you moved your knight over here instead. And then now he's getting it in on you. And you saw the fork for him, though. This all seemed good. That seemed good. This move, I think, was a mouse slip. He probably meant to play h5 because he played h5 next. Mm, Here, okay. you should probably play this immediately. Also, he should probably stop you from playing that. No, but if he goes here, then he'll get checked. So he didn't like that. That's why he was making lift first. Anyways, if you go here, he should he should go there. Obviously, not lose all his pawns. So that was good. That looked good. Here you should take it. Yeah. Why not? You know, it's hanging. I mean, he can do this and then win this pawn. <clears throat> but either way, you're going to lose this pawn. If you move your king up, he could just take it anyway, which is what you did. Yeah. So either way, you're losing this pawn, so you might as well take that pawn. Instead this. Here again, you should just take this. Um, I think he was going to go here, but you can back it up now. And then you're surviving this. So the king is precariously placed. You could also try this. Maybe you shouldn't take. Maybe you should. I don't know. And then like this. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is hanging, so. Still a tough position because your king is so weak. Yeah. But it's also, if you don't get mated, it's good. You know? <laughs> yeah. But if you do get mated... And yeah, your pawn here is hanging, so you should defend it. Like that, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's kind of passive, but you can go here, move your rook, and then play that. That seems like a good idea mm -hmm, <laughs> to definitely. me. Yeah, definitely. But I think you never saw it was hanging. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't. Billy Idol. Yeah, I like Billy Idol. Why do we miss one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four moves every game? I don't know. What does Spencer, that mean? the lost son of Ben. <laughs> I once was lost, but now I'm found. <laughs> what does that mean? One, two, three, four. I don't know. <laughs> but why do we miss those? I don't know. Um, gotta lose in a few moves, so don't, so you don't miss many moves. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It. I just meant a large number. Right. You mean, why do I miss moves? Because Everybody I'm, misses moves. I'm low rated. Even strong players <laughs> miss moves, though. I mean, what you want? What kind, of, what kind of question is that? I mean, there are basically there are two types of mistakes that you can make in a chess game. Yeah. There are mistakes where you, you know it's wrong, you just missed it this one time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know that you should play knight c3 after queen a5, or knight c4 after queen a5, yeah. But you just missed it. Yeah, I just missed it. And there are also times you make mistakes that you didn't know, like you didn't, you weren't a good enough chess player to know it. Right. Like you're making like mistakes that are difficult to understand. Mm hmm So you want to limit the mistakes that are like this. 
where you know what to do. Mm -hmm. You just happen to miss it this time. Yeah. You want to limit those as much as possible and only make mistakes where you had no way of knowing it because you weren't good enough, you know? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Um, Bill, Wh yeah, I like Bill Withers. I think he died fairly recently. Withered away, huh? <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's my cue. Is it time to go? It's about that time. Six fifty nine. Looking at my Gucci, it's about that time. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what's today? Friday. Yeah. So, um, are you going to karaoke again? No. No. <laughs> my throat is way too sore. Oh. <laughs> probably, it sounds, my voice sounds different, I bet. <laughs> it sounds a little gravelly. It sounds different in my head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like that after singing. But so. I might go tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah. I, you know, I just wish they would put it outside again. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> me too. But, Bye, um, everyone. All right, well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. I'll be up here at some point. See you tomorrow. And then um, I've got to go to my brother's for my dad's birthday thing. Well, I can play a couple of more games before I end this stream if somebody wants to keep playing. Um, good old Neb. <laughs> good old Neb is next in the queue. Scottish Demon Goat. Do you want to, um, we can play and then we'll just see. I mean, obviously we can't, I can't really analyze it. And I have a hard time talking when I'm playing. So then everybody complains, oh, she's so quiet. But why is it on the wrong, oh, the other game. Wait a minute. Close, there we go. Now I lost seconds, valuable seconds. <laughs> Chat will do the talking. Um, I hate it when <laughs> people do that move. <clears throat> Let me think about it. Am I already getting in trouble here? Sorry, I can't talk when I play. <laughs> I mean, I can talk when I always mess up. But I mess up anyway. Maybe I should just, you know, proceed.
guess I can't take that. I hear that snake sound. Which is not good. Darn. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with how slow I am. Good game, Jim. Neb, Scott D Scottish demon goat. <laughs> I didn't survive. I lost. <laughs> it was a confusing game. Um... It was very confusing. I, I thought the game was interesting. That's the problem a lot of times is I just get so caught up with being interested in the chess and trying to find a good move. And I forget about trying to you know not lose on time. Hey, Cathal Boss. Are there a lot of people in the queue? Not really. Um, there's, let's see, one, two, three, five. Let me go back and I can't, obviously we can't analyze too well but you guys are better than me most of you so so we could look um how do you even do the analysis i forgot uh can you still see it yeah um oh that does the analysis but how do you get it with the engine oh that let me see oh that does do it so I'm not really used to using the tools so it says I played with 29.5% <laughs> accuracy and um, Scottish demon goat played with 43.2 uh, let me see here where are the lines Oh, there it is. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've never even seen it where it does the arrows for me. <laughs> uh, it says G5 is best. Knight C6 was an alternative. Now let me go back. I didn't know what to do here. I was worried my bishop was about to get trapped. And it says I should go bishop e5. I thought about going bishop e5. But then I thought they would go here. Let me see. Yeah, they, then they would go f6. That is what they would go. And then I'm supposed to take now, how is that good for me? Darn, I wish I were better and I could analyze all this. So then queen takes, then h3. I don't understand how that was my best move. <laughs> oh, we both played 92 in our game, trying not to learn. Um, I force f6. Uh, so all of that is worth forcing f6. Says that is not the right move. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I took. Because <laughs> I, I was right. I was about to get trapped, but I guess that wasn't the right thing to do. But um, I hate chestnut bombs. Did Hey, by the way, did the... um. Oh, it hinders your development. Did the uh, any, did Botez Topless show up at all today? <laughs> I was just curious. Because 
If you're out there, Botez Topless, you got to change your name. We're going to ban you. And I do apologize because you seem like a nice person, but she doesn't like those names. Anyway, F5 is good, it says, but uh, it wants me to go, mm, yeah, that was where I was supposed to, 95, then it says Queen F6 was the, the, a better move. Uh, but it said 97 is good. So white's actually, I'm going to just keep, I'm going to go, I don't want to spend too much time on this since I can't really analyze. But it looks like white's doing better. It liked my queen a4, but I didn't really have a good follow-up. Oh, darn, I should have taken the pawn. Yeah, I didn't like this. Um... It's what it was wanting me to push my H pawn. I guess get a pawn break. Yeah, that makes sense. It's so hard to do anything for me in a three minute. Yeah, it liked that move. Um, liked that. Those were two best moves. It liked me castling. It's, um, it's just liking all these moves. Our G three was a mistake. Um, I was supposed to go, let's see, says, it liked bishop e5, it wants me to go f4. I'm always so reluctant to use, to lose, um, sorry, not lose, <laughs> to move my f pawn. Uh, I don't know why, I'm always missing that moment when I should. It seems like they would just um, take on Passant, but I guess that's okay, because then I can get my knight or bishop over there. Yeah, I always miss that move. It's wanting um, black to castle, by the way. It said that move was fine, but it wanted you to castle. This it did not like at all. The H4 was the best there. C4 was a blunder. Because then, let's see, H takes, F takes, O. Oh. Wait, what happens? H takes, F takes, Bishop takes, and then Rook, F. Hmm. I don't see why that's a mistake. Let me see there. Oh. Well, that is what we did, isn't it? Oh, that is what happened. Well, that was the best move there. Okay, that was actually a blunder. But I was already losing pretty badly. Um, it wants me to go rook f4. And I guess sack the exchange. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad way right here. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go. Oh, it looks like I got back in it. Wait, what happened? <laughs> All right, so g takes f3 was the best. That was the best. So how did I get back in it? What was the blunder? Knight b3 is an inaccuracy. Okay, that was a blunder. Um, that was the best move. Oh, okay, I forgot about that move. Okay, that was... So it looks like it... Yeah, it was pretty even here at the end. That game was confusing. <laughs> hey, man, moth. <laughs> you liked your bishop too much better than mate. Um... Wait, no, what's just a box in a cage saying? Let me see. Wait, let me see what you're saying here. Castling. I did worry about the castling, but it actually said that was a good move um, for me. Who seems like a nice person besides donating bits? He seems like a misogynist incel to me. Are we talking about the Botez topless permutations? <laughs> hey, Anubis T. Good night, Bell Sub 40. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, you know, I tend to give people too much the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Just a box in a cage. But, um, 
I talked to him some, and he said he didn't mean it rudely. He was just joking around. I said, well, it was fine until she complained, and then the mod did complain to me. So that's just what happened. Probably should have not given the benefit of the doubt. All right, so how do I get rid of the report? Um, I don't even know how to do this. How do I get back out of here? <laughs> Does anybody know? Because I'm worried if I go back to live chess, I'm going to lose my challenges. But I'm not really in there anymore. Okay, I'm just going to have to do it. I don't know how to get out of here otherwise. Oh, they're all still there. All right, good. Well, should I play another one? I still have a good amount of viewers. No, I have never beaten Ben at chess. <laughs> um, maybe one day. Let me grab some Advil, and then I'll play another game. Um. So, yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> one day I can beat Ben at chess. But, um, you know, probably kill himself. <laughs> Who is my highest rated victory? Um, do you mean over the board or um, online? I've played a lot of over the board chess. I don't know. I've, I've definitely beat... Um, seems like I've, it, it, I'm not going to call it a victory. Somebody threw a game one time. I don't know why. I know it's like a 2,400 on chess.com or maybe even a, I mean, obviously I can't beat somebody with that rating. They just, I don't know why they just decided they wanted to bail on the game or something, but in real life. I don't even know. I think I've beat a few 1700s and over the board chess for sure. Um, and I know at the World Open, hang on one second. I, um, I played up two sections. So I had to adjust the light again. It gets. Um, the sun goes in and out outside, and then it changes the way that camera it starts to... Yeah, I look a little overexposed here. <laughs> Hang on. But yeah, at the World Open, I played up two sections. And so I was the, absolutely the lowest, the lowest rated. And uh, I did really well. Um, and at the time, you know, I was probably 13-something, and everybody I was playing was like... Um, 16, 1700, and, and I drew a whole bunch of games and gained over 100 rating points. So that's, uh, it still looks so bright all of a sudden. I guess because it got dark outside. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We'll just let it be bright for a minute. <laughs> About to end the stream anyway. All right, let me play Neurononum. That's who's next. Didn't mean to talk too much. All right, let's go.
You like to take with the epon instead of the sepon? I don't know which is better. I do it both ways. <laughs> Darn, the light is still so bright. I think once Spencer left, I'm going to go ahead and move while nurse thinking. Shouldn't be getting up. I'm always running low on time. <laughs> uh. Let me go this way. Lights bothering me. What? <laughs> I know I shouldn't be getting up and doing stuff, obviously. Um, this night's really annoying. I guess I'm going to have to leave soon. <laughs> yeah, still theory. I have to, um, let me see if my son's texting me. Mm. Let's see here. I've got to pick my older son up some food.
Darn, I have no time again. <laughs> Darn. I hate everybody. <laughs> Good game, Neurononum. Just wasn't meant to be my game. Let's see, what are people saying? <laughs> I know, I'm so slow. I have to solve this problem of my slowness. That was a good game, though. I enjoyed the game. Um, I can't play anymore because I have to go... Um, home. I'm having a good time. I hate to leave. Darn. That's why you play with increment nerve. Um, you know, I feel like uh, I want to try to get faster, and believe it or not, I am faster. Um, it's just, uh, hey, lady, I'm sorry that we missed you. You guys wouldn't even believe a year ago how slow I was. I mean, you, you think it's bad now? You just... You, people that know about it from a year ago understand um, how much I have really speeded up. I'm just so slow. You would like to see me play some longer time controls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not bad when I have some time. <laughs> yeah, I did say I hate everybody. <laughs> but um, obviously I don't. Now let me see who's, um, who I could raid. Um, it's going to have to be chest bra. So, I have to say I'm going to complain a little bit about Hans because I am a Hans fan before it was hip to be a Hans fan. I've just noticed lately he's not playing a lot of chess. And then I got on his stream the other day and he was playing one of those games. I don't remember which fall guy or... Uh, whatever, I forgot the other one is that he likes to play. And he was, oh, Among Us. And, you know, love you, Hans, if you are out there and ever seen, you know, clips it, because I'm not, you know. But but I will say that I did not pre appreciate the language that he was using. Now, you know, F-bomb it here and there, that's fine, no problem, you know. But... He was like using the C word, both C words. <laughs> you know, he's 17 years old, and I've met his mom before. No, you're wrong, Chestnut Bombs. <laughs> he's a nice boy. You know, there are two C words for body parts. One's male, one's female. And, oh, there's been superior. <laughs> And I was like, what is going on? It, it was just absurd. And he wonders why his chat's crap. His chat's gone to, to shit, you know. And I, he get, every once in a while gets mad. Yeah, both C words. He gets... He, <laughs> yeah, I am being a care. Yeah, so my clear. He needs to know. He needs some um, honest feedback. You know, he gets on the <laughs> seen us. <laughs> Um, the thing is, the thing is, um, <laughs> um, two C words. Okay, he's only 17. Again, fine. You know, my 17-year-old, I have a 17-year-old, he said some, he's probably said both the C words, and, you know, I wasn't real, real happy about it, but, um, what gets me, I'm talking about Hans, so what gets me is Hans 
complains occasionally, gets all frustrated because his chat's shit. I mean, go look at his chat. There's a bunch of idiots over there. I'm, I'm one of the idiots sometimes, too. <laughs> so, obviously, you know, you know, a mix, a mix of folks over there, but um, that really turned me off, Han. So, if anybody wants to tell you that I said that, I'm very disappointed that a nice young man like you is using the C words gratuitously. There was no reason for it. Now, sometimes somebody might need to be called a blank sucker or something like that because, you know, they are. <laughs> but he was just like throwing out these words. On, it was just so ridiculous. So I hope you bring it back, Hans. But this is a long-winded way for me to say that I'm not going to raid Hans because I cannot send in all my um, all my nice chat over to Hans. I can't do it. You guys are above using the C words, except for in dire circumstances. I just know it. <laughs> oh, it's not turning political. <laughs> so chess broad is yeah you you guys are well mannered and uh hans is well mannered when he's in his right mind i don't know what's going on over there um but hopefully he'll return to the nice hans i know at any rate i hope to see you guys soon we're going to raid chess bra and they're always nice Unless Hanson has too much to drink. <laughs> then he likes to use the C word probably. <laughs> Actually, not just probably, he does. But love those chess bras. Enjoy their stream. And I'll see you soon. Bye.